सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली इट विल सून बी थ्री ईयर्स फ्रॉम वेन द फर्स्ट केस ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन इमर्स और द फर्स्ट केस ऑफ नॉवल कोरोना वायरस विच वॉज डिजीज वॉज कॉल्ड covid 19 emerged we still haven't recovered from that setback we as in the entire world our economy our lives our families our lifestyles our workplaces that we are now being chased by another scourge of sorts that is what is called monkey pox so you've been seeing monkey pox monkey pox monkey pox everywhere again on your tv screens in your headlines also a lot on social media and once again the same vicious cycle has begun people googling people searching for searching for experts on internet and arriving at many conclusions so while at this point cases haven't jumped as they had jumped say in the case of covid 19 globally but there is a bunch of cases there is about 15000 cases globally in about 75 to 80 countries as we speak and maybe a few more by the time you are watching it but each country has a small number of cases and the spread is not yet very wide having said that we know that nothing should be underestimated now nothing should be underplayed and we should not be complacent about anything because the world has changed we travel a lot more we interact a lot more so what what was considered to be confined to parts of africa not all of africa sort of western and central africa so what is western africa western africa is senegal guinea uh, ghana liberia ivory coast gabon uh, angola and as you come south there is also namibia although i am not sure uh, you find uh, monkey pox in namibia historically cameroon uh, and very importantly Nigeria sort of abutting it and then Democratic Republic of Congo DRC now these are countries where this virus has been found in the past and has remained confined there in fact the first case of human infection with this virus was noted in 1970 and there are scientific papers written about the virus in 1970 72 in fact i am sharing one of those with you you will see the front page the first page on my screen and i am sharing a link with you so this is not a new virus but now it is being found in many countries that's because this is a very mobile globalized world we are meeting each other and also you know what we are now more intimate with each other across nationalities and across geographies so before i go further into monkey pox let me first first list for you the bad news about monkey pox and the not such bad news i don't want to say good news not such bad news or as we prefer to sometimes say the less worse news so the bad news about this is that this is a very unpleasant illness you can see the pictures in fact couple of times when we've had stories with those pictures with close ups of those rashes i have had those pictures dropped or i have i haven't shared those stories on social media because i just think they are too distressing if they are so distressing to look at one can imagine how distressing and how troublesome they would be to somebody who unfortunately has that disease so that's a bad thing it leads to fever it leads to malaise it leads to loss of work for two weeks to four weeks to six weeks may even even lead lead, lead to some stigma your colleagues your family everybody starts worrying if they will get infected because it's not a nice looking disease no disease is nice looking but some diseases are visible very visible some are less visible this is a very visible disease and very often these rashes break out on the face as well so that is bad sometimes in rare cases it can get into eyes and that has its own consequences in some cases it leads to enlargement of the liver but generally it's self limiting but these are these are the negative consequences second 
we don't know too much about the disease as yet when i when i tell you the less worse uh, points i will tell you that this is not a disease like covid 19 that we knew nothing about we know a lot about it but we still don't know too much about the human spread because too little human spread has taken place as yet i told you that 1970 was the first case it was discovered in central africa and this was a 9 year old boy uh, who was diagnosed with having this virus this monkey pox disease in monkeys in animals in africa this has been discovered in the 50s in fact there was one large outbreak uh, in a colony of 600 african monkeys who were being kept in a nursery or in a colony for scientific experimentation so this spread was found there but it was not seen to be reaching the humans so once again it's a zoonotic disease that's bad news the zoonotic disease is one that comes from animals to human beings in this case from monkeys in africa particular in particular regions of africa but also rodents so while it's got the name monkey pox it spread more by rodents by rats rats squirrels squirrels are also rodents and there was one example of this spread through squirrels rats and other small mammals because in america in 2003 there was a small spread of monkey pox small spread means 43 americans were infected now 43 in 2003 looked like quite a major spread it's just that we are right now so inured to massive spreads after covid 19 that 43 doesn't look like big news but the fact is that pox traveled from africa to america how did it come there it came in through an imported shipment a shipment of small mammals imported from africa i presume for scientific experimentation although i can't read very much on this those in the areas where those animals were stored in the nearby areas people pet prairie dogs they caught this infection and from the dogs the owners of the dogs caught this infection so this is not just zoonotic in the sense that it jumped from animal to human to humans it jumped from animal to another animal to humans so different species different genuses say from rodents to dogs to humans so it showed that capability so it cannot be taken lightly because dogs are all amongst us uh, and our lifestyles have changed over time we also live in more crowded areas that is a key point because it's now a different world from what it might have been 40 50 30 years ago then the other reason to worry about this is that we are just coming out of covid we are now getting used to covid being endemic covid is not over but it keeps popping up here there there but we've learned to live our lives with it we are also vaccinated we also know generally that if covid hits us now it kind of it's kind of part of your rights of passage in life because you have reasonable protection in your bodies so in most cases fresh covid infections will be quite mild i speak with also personal experience in january january end in spite of uh, two shots and the booster we got covid infections i presume omicron but we just breeze through with them the viruses wash through our systems we found out we had covid only because we tested with some body ache so we so we are now getting used to dealing with covid being endemic and in the middle of this one more more scourge has come in next point is we don't have a storage of vaccines we have vaccines available which can be effective for this but we don't yet have a storage of vaccines and i will talk about that in more detail when i talk about the negatives the bad news about this virus and last point a very important point too much of the world's population is now young and because it's a young world the young are not exposed to this virus they don't carry any immunity now if you just want to see it in india's perspective that makes about a 100 crore if not more i think a little more than a 100 crore indians who do not have any prior protection or prior immunity i shall tell you why as i list for you the less bad aspects of monkey pox or the less worse aspects of monkey pox so number 1 this is not a new virus unlike covid 19 this is not novel that was even named as novel this is not a new virus 
human kind science has no known this virus for almost 70 80 years if not for longer and if nothing else even even much before even 300 years before they knew this virus they knew its bada bhai or its badi behan or whatever you choose to call it that is the smallpox virus human kind has dealt with smallpox for a long time in fact human kind even before they could recognize viruses or they knew the difference between viruses and bacteria or they knew they had seen a bacteria or virus or invented a microscope they knew that smallpox spreads through something which can be prevented by taking out a bit of it and infecting a healthy person with it that was called variolation that that was the process used before smallpox vaccines came in so this is part of the same family so this is an a familiar enemy that enemy that you know about is much less difficult to deal with i'm careful not to say much easier to deal, deal with there's nothing easy about a bad viral disease but it's much less difficult to deal with than an unknown adversary like covid-19 second importantly this is not as lethal as covid at all in fact in most circumstances it is not lethal at all you might say that there are two clades or two types clade is a word that scientists use c l a d e that there are two clades of this virus one is the west african clade and the other is the central african clade now west african clade is lighter or milder central african clade which you find in congo etc is tougher and nastier right now the spread is almost exclusively from the west african clade which is lighter but once again don't be complacent because remember as we saw with covid when bad news comes worse news usually follows so when the first variants came then the beta variant came then the delta variant came and delta variant was much worse each variant was worse than the previous one and now if it looks like omicron is milder remember that that's all that could also be because all of us are meanwhile twice at least twice vaccinated so don't discount bad news worse news following bad news so right now the world is getting the western african clade or variant which is not as nasty as the other one so even when fatalities take place in parts of africa they usually take place depending on what kind of medical care do you get if you get proper medical care if you have proper awareness then it's almost non lethal then it's not as contagious as covid-19 now covid-19 you can pick from the air somebody has been in your room sneeze far away not even sneeze somebody might have talked for 5 minutes and left virus in the air this virus is not like that this virus needs more of an intimate contact now if you see the data that's available right now from uh, from uh, scientific circles scientific publications and all there is a paper uh, in new england journal of medicine that has analyzed 528 victims or carriers of monkeypox all male 98% of them have history of gay sex or bisexuality in involving gay sex so right now who and the rest are not classifying this as a sexually transmitted disease but they are only saying and i think that's a sound way of putting it that this spreads more from from intimate contact and before i finish this in in the conclusion i will read for you a para that i read on the website of the cleveland clinic which i think is the most succinct way of describing what this new scourge is so once again a lot of it is spread through sexual contact or intimate contact in fact in the same study new new england journal of medicine they examined the semen of 32 of these men of which 29 samples contained the virus so once again so no nobody quite knows whether it spreads through seminal or vaginal fluids but those are the indications right now cnn on the other hand has a long story and i will share a link with you of that story as well that tells you that this is right now spreading much more 
in the lgbtq community but once again early days remember hiv when hiv first came in when big actors hollywood star big hollywood star got it time magazine cover everybody thought that this was a disease of gay men but then in the course of time the virus spread to everybody now the next point vaccination for this is available and what is the vaccination effectively it's the same vaccination that is used for smallpox now smallpox is something that most of today's generation has forgotten unless unless they read it in their school textbooks smallpox was the biggest scourge of human kind for centuries going back 10000 years it's been recorded since then in 1970s the world conquered smallpox all the one should not re really use one should be a little humble a little humility doesn't hurt we should never say we conquered a scourge from nature but the fact is that in 1975 76 the world was completely declared free of smallpox as it was declared free of smallpox increasingly countries stopped their smallpox vaccination program so india generally somewhere between 1970 and 1980 were the last smallpox vaccines given which means anybody who is about 45 years and above has had smallpox vaccines that's people like me they'll carry these marks on their arms so check out if you are 45 plus most likely you will find this mark on your arm but after that those below 45 did not get their smallpox vaccine because smallpox was declared as having been eradicated in the world so vaccination programs stopped so those people are now vulnerable to to this disease that's why i had said that nearly 100 crore indians or maybe a little over 100 crore indians who are below 45 years of age and who haven't had smallpox vaccine they do not carry this immunity but push comes to the shove this vaccine can be made and this can vaccine vaccine can be made very quickly at very fast rate in very large numbers it's also a very cheap vaccine because wherewithal is available and you know what happens when a big scourge is banished then the big power worry worry about the fact the possibility that somebody might still be holding some some of it and may inflict on the other one so there was always the fear of whenever wherever a virus or a bad disease is eradicated there is the fear of biological warfare that's why when this disease was announced as having been eradicated who authorized two facilities one in the us and one in what used to be soviet union to keep a storehouse or some reservoir of the smallpox virus that is the center for disease control and prevention at atlanta georgia in the us and the russian state center for research on virology and biotechnology at kolsovo in novosibirsk region in russian federation so so there are there are little reservoirs of this available and you know if those two countries have it i will be most surprised if some of the other countries also haven't kept some of it just in case and the americans because americans are more transparent than say the chinese system or the russian systems in the american system we know they are already storing they've kept in safe custody at least 11 crore that is at least 110 million smallpox vaccines just in case a biological war breaks out so it's possible to scale up this vaccine protection and that's why if you read the harvard medical site harvard.edu it tells you that one way of preventing spread says that whenever a spread is found and carry out a ring vaccination which means figure out all the people who were exposed to somebody with the disease and quickly vaccinate them within 2 weeks they will all have the immunity again important thing is studies done in africa in the 80s and these are quite extensive studies these studies in africa that is when the disease was had still not gone out of africa these showed that people who had had prior smallpox vaccination they had an almost 85% protection from monkey pox also even if god forbid they got the disease they got a very mild version of the disease because their body had the their body had residual immunity of fighting the disease and finally among the not so negative points the fact that some treatments are available so there is a drug called 
Tico Very Matte, which is right now not marketed, but it's a drug that's available. It's been discovered. It's also called under the brand name T-Pox, T-P-O-X-X. But that drug's available. That seemed to be quite effective in the treatment of smallpox. Some of these drugs were developed in case smallpox came back or in case, I suppose, there was biological warfare. So that drug is available in the US now. They are allowing it to be used in some selected cases. But once again, if bad news continues to get worse, then this will be available. Now, the question you might ask me is that, you know, how come smallpox is one virus, monkeypox is another virus, treatment for one is effective also with the other or vaccination for one is effective also with the other because that was not the case when it came to coronavirus. The treatment for swine flu or chicken flu or the earlier SARS was not effective for COVID-19. That's because those are coronaviruses. That's a different family of viruses. The family of viruses that causes smallpox and monkeypox is called orthopox virus. And the characteristic of orthopox virus is that these are cross-reactive, which means treatment and vaccination for one can be effective for the other. That's not for everything else. Now, I know that today's generations, which is, I told you, bulk of Indians, 75% Indians, in fact, 74.7% Indians are below 45 years of age. So, 100 crore plus. So, they haven't had the smallpox vaccine or immunity or the memory of smallpox. The question they might ask is, but I've had the chickenpox vaccine or I've got chickenpox. Does that give me any immunity? No, that does not give you any immunity from monkeypox or from smallpox simply because chickenpox is caused by a completely different virus. Chickenpox is caused by a virus of the herpes family. Now, this is not herpes simplex, which is also a sexually transmitted disease. Not that, it is herpes zoster or what, or what in more common language is also called shingle. So, usually you would find people who have had chickenpox once in their lives will always be vulnerable to getting shingles or herpes zoster at some point later in their lives, particularly as they grow older, their immunity goes down. Because once somebody gets chickenpox, this herpes zoster virus comes riding on the back of the chickenpox virus and lives on our nerves in our bodies. Now, of course, there is a vaccine available for herpes zoster as well. But that is herpes virus. This is orthopox virus. That's why chickenpox and monkeypox, zero connection, no connection at all. Now, as I read up more about monkeypox, I also notice uh, some publications that in 1988, scientific publications had given out warnings that a monkeypox outbreak might be, might be a possibility. So, in fact, there is a paper in International Journal of Epidemiology in 1988, which says that over time, the average magnitude and duration of monkeypox epidemics will increase. Why did they say that? They were, they were not looking at a crystal ball, but they knew they were taking note of the fact that by that time, it had already been a decade since smallpox vaccinations had stopped. So, the proportion of human population which had not been protected for smallpox by vaccines that was becoming available and they will now be vulnerable to monkeypox. So, some of that is coming back right now. And once again, it is something to be concerned about, uh, but not to, not to panic about. Why we should be concerned? I will tell you, 1990s, average ca cases in Africa that were reported were about 50 per year, just around 50 per year. 2020, since 2020, it's been more than 5,000 per year. That's also because surveillance has gone up after our COVID consciousness. Now, earlier in this conversation, I told you that in conclusion, I will just read out a couple of lines from the Cleveland Clinic website. So, I'm doing that now because that I think is quite comforting at the same time quite sobering as well. So, please, please hear this. So, Cleveland Clinic says that just when we are coming out of COVID, etc., there is a lot of trauma and some relief. We are now hit by these new things. So, there are lots of questions and people are worried. So, they say that monkeypox is a rare disease. They are putting this in perspective. Monkeypox is a rare disease. It is spread through close contact like kissing and sex, though we are still learning about how monkeypox spreads among humans. So, everybody has to show a degree of humility, which the scientists are doing. They are telling you what they know, but they are not so saying that their knowledge is final and it cannot change. So, be careful. Then, 
Cleveland Clinic says the best way to protect yourself is to avoid contact with people who are already infected and in this case this is not a disease that tries to hide because if somebody has the rashes you can see them also it's so unpleasant that unlikely that anybody who has the rashes is then walking around or partying etc etc so they say the best way to protect yourself is to avoid contact with people who are infected wash your hands frequently and wear masks in crowded indoor spaces that we've got used to anyway and that in any case is a good idea now while we read up on monkeypox we again go back to our favorite doctor dr fahim yunus who's a pakistani specialist who the whole world had got to follow at the peak of the covid crisis so once again on his twitter handle he's put out his wisdom and experience on monkeypox and i like particularly one take away from him he said think of it like this this is a bad thing but it's a bit like if covid 19 was a poisonous snake this one is a bad bug now the truth is you don't want to be bitten by a bad bug either because besides everything else it doesn't let you sleep it also leave leaves bad marks and scars on your body.